Here with men's basketball head coach Ben Miller following a uh, pretty dominating 81-49 victory over Southern Wesleyan tonight. Coach, we saw that what this Southern Wesleyan team could do yesterday against Georgia Southwestern. you got to be pretty happy with your team's performance tonight. Yeah, Southern Wesleyan, they really started the game well, but they fatigue set in, I think, as the game went on. They've had you know back-to-back -back games, and I think this is their third or fourth game this week. So, um, you know, they played hard, but I think they just ran out of steam. Hopefully we had a little something to do with that. We started slow. I thought we were sluggish to start the game. You know, we were in a tough battle last night with Fayetteville State, and um, the guys came in off the bench and gave us a lift, gave us a little energy. So that first group, when they hit the floor for the second time, they were much better from that point on. Let's talk about your offensive numbers tonight. 44.8% uh, in the first half, 53.3 in the second, 49.2 for the game. Uh, you shot 15 for 18 from the free throw line. You got to be happy with your offense. Yeah, I thought we uh, shared the ball, had really good balance. Um, you know, I think that'll be a characteristic of this team, not just the starters, but we got guys off the bench that can come in and score. Um, our challenge right now is to continue to work on team execution, like every team, both ends, defensively, you know, are we dialed in? Are we connected with our communication position on the floor offensively? Are we setting good screens, making the extra pass? Uh, just little things like that that um, we got to keep improving on. But there was a lot of good things tonight. You had uh, three players in double figure scoring tonight. Uh, let's bring out one Griffin Pittman, 11 points on five and nine shooting. He also had four rebounds, five assists. He had a pretty good senior leader on the floor for you tonight. Yeah, he's become, you know, an extension of the coaching staff. And he's a tribute to his toughness. I mean, he's been under the weather the last three or four days. Um, but he fought through it both nights and played extremely well. And, you know, it, it really is a good feeling as a coach when you can look out and have a, a fourth-year senior out there that can really lead from the floor. You know, and, you know, even if I don't have a timeout, Griff can get him into something, um, you know, and they'll execute fairly well. They really listen to him and they trust him. And um, he's been a great leader, along with Ben Jacobs. Um, the veterans in the program, those two guys, Quilmaine, Brandon, those guys have really stepped up their leadership. And that's something that's got to continue throughout the season. Well, counting the exhibition season, six straight wins for you guys now. Uh, second time, second year in a row, you guys have started off the season with four straight wins. What do you tell your guys now to keep them grounded and focused on the rest of the season? New day tomorrow. You know, enjoy it tonight, get some rest, and uh, come back because we got a quick turnaround for Allen on Monday. So short prep time. Um, but we'll get back to work uh, tomorrow in preparation for them.